fullness that God wants you to walk in. Amen. I'm glad my brother's sitting here. This is for the men, too. It's not a lot here, but glory to God, this is the work of the body of Christ overall. Amen. 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 So, uh, fullness, and that fullness that we're talking about comes out of being whole in Christ Jesus. Amen. Being perfect. Being complete. Being mature. Fullness. And we need that fullness. Why? For, for kingdom business. Amen. God wants us right. to be about our Father's business. Yeah. You say you're a daughter of the King. God wants you whole and full, full of the Holy Ghost, so that you can go out and, and minister right. out of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. That. Listen to what some of the scripture said. And Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost, and then he went on out and ministered. Right, right. Glory to God. Stephen, one of his one of his uh, disciples, it says that and Stephen, uh, a man full of faith and the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Right. Talk about being full again. Full. Right. Glory to God. And then it went on to say about Stephen that he was a good man and full of the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, and the faith, fullness, hallelujah, wholeness. And then what did he do? It says he went about and he did much. It says much people were added unto the Lord. Amen. Why? Because he was full, full of the Holy Ghost, hallelujah. He was going about doing kingdom work out of fullness, hallelujah. 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 Yeah, I don't do anything by part and by half, hallelujah. That's we're supposed to be bubbling over right. and overflowing right. with power right. and the Holy about being able to comprehend with all things what is the breadth and length and depth and height and to know the love of Christ which passes knowledge that you might be filled with all the fullness of God. Hallelujah. That's what it's all about. That was Ephesians 3. And that's why God wants you whole. Our Father wants you to fully experience His love to that degree. He wants you to be, to be, be you understand that wholeness is a byproduct of being rooted and firmly established and persuaded of God's perfect love for you. You know, you do know that God loves you, right? Amen. God loves you. Hallelujah. And He wants you to be open to that. To be whole is to be complete. God's love is a complete love, and you're whole in Him. Amen. Amen. I, I'm a single lady, but I understand that I'm complete in God. Now, to God be the man of God. Amen. I'll come in as a whole woman and pray, praise God. I'm, I'm praying He comes to me as a whole man. And then we'll go forth and do the work of God. But I'm whole right now. It's not about whether I'm married or someone's in my life. And it's not about whether you have things or, or, or possessions in your life, living in a certain neighborhood. You're whole in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Like just work His way in your spirit. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. That's the drill and kill, as we call it, in, in education, where you just keep repeating it until it just bubbles out of you without even thinking about it. I'm whole. I'm a holy God. Hallelujah. You can hear it and you don't own it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Shout it out. As the daughter of the king. As the daughter of the king. As the daughter of the king. I am whole. I am whole. In and through Christ Jesus. Now, before you answer, know that God wants the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Amen? Amen. So that like a woman with the issue of blood, we, we too have to be open and transparent. Amen. We have to we have to share our deepest fears, our, our deepest needs, just like she did. Yeah. I mean, she came to God, again, holding nothing back. Yeah. Share, share with God your, your deepest desires and thoughts. Jesus, yeah. Share with God what your mistakes are. He knows anyway. Yeah. Hallelujah. Are you the friend of God or not? Just share it all with him. God's going to be your best friend. Tell him everything. And he knows how to keep a secret. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's going to keep a secret. And then deal with it. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Again, no funny, nothing, nothing fake or funny, just pure motives. Hallelujah. And, and you have to have an attitude of, you know, I don't care who's looking. I, I'm trying to get my healing. I'm trying to get home. That's right. It says, it says that she came in front of all the people that she went and she told God what was going on in her life. Amen. Amen. When you get to that point, when you get that real with God, God can move in that. 
Yeah. 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 You open the doors right then and there. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So God said, you're saved, but are you healed? And sometimes, beloved, we have an issue in our life that, that's, that's slowly draining the life out of us. You know, she had this, 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 this draining of, of this issue of blood. And, and sometimes we have things that are draining the life out of us. It could be a situation that we've dealt with for a long time and it's been going on for weeks, months, years. And it, it gets to the point where we think, you know, well, God can't or, or worse yet, he won't do anything about it. Well, the devil is a liar. God can't do something about it. Just come to him in that trans that transparency to say that, you know, well, I've lived with it all these years and I guess this is just the way it is. No, 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 says God. No. God has an answer for that. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Or sometimes we think, you know, because we don't want to come and, and not care who's looking, who's looking at us or, or just come with that transparency, we think, well, you know, I'm a mature Christian. I'm in leadership, you know, and I, I don't want anyone to think that, you know, I'm weak or, or I don't know how to get to God for myself or they might think I'm in sin or something like, you know, or I can't handle my life or, or I, that I can't access the kingdom for myself. That, that's just pride. That, you know, we, we never arrive. We're going to need the Lord until the day we leave this earth. Amen. Glory to God. And then we get to heaven we'll have forever and ever and ever to Thank come to get to know Him. We're a work in process. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We still need the Lord. There's some things we need to be brought to wholeness and some things that we need to be healed in our life. Yeah. Amen. And we don't even fully know what it is. That's right. We may think it's, it's one thing and it could be something else. Wow. We may think we're, you know, having a, an attitude with someone for because of their tone of voice or their demeanor toward us, but really it's the spirit of rejection that's, that's affecting us. And so we just really don't know, but the Holy Ghost knows. He's going to deal with that thing. Amen. 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 Glory to God. So I just want you to know that the kingdom of God has come near. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said the kingdom of God has come near. Jesus. 
Hallelujah. That was the word that I have for you on today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God.